We had our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. Anyway, what's the idea of doing it alone? I hope he has a good reason, though. This is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. So, uh, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place... Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. Should be looking for a way back by now. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. Well, I admit, that sounds more like him. You must trace his steps, Doctor. I'm working on it. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection. Set up a transmitter. No, there's nothing on the comms. But I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. The height of the entire complex is over 100 meters, even 150. And all made of this metal? To a significant degree. Is something were to live here? Yes. It would have to be very small, like insects. On the other hand, there's no floor around to support such organisms. the terrain. Those structures, are they still everywhere? Yep. Wherever I look, there's metal.
No. No point in going back this way. Ah. I see the probe. Has it found anything? It's not making any measurements at the moment. <laughs> oh, why? The overload protection is activated. Until I do a reset, it's on manual control. Mm. Oh, is it because of my flight? It's possible, but please don't worry about it. What matters is that you're fine. Oh, I see the cover snap right off. Oh, yes. There's an error in the logs. Wouldn't it be better if I helped you? I can close it manually, after all. I'd need some directions first. I had to bring it to you. No problem. I'm on it. First, let's find a place where I can land it. Otherwise, you won't be able to help me, Doctor. There. I found the right place. All right, then. I'm waiting for instructions. Let's see. Rotate the probe 120 degrees. Okay, now. Ten meters forward. No, no, sorry I misjudged. Please pull back. So, 45 degrees to the left and full steam ahead. Stop. Now, rotate 45 degrees to the right. Two meters forward. Land. Don't be angry. It's not anger, it's a warning sign. I know, I know. You're welcome, Luna. It's a bit like Pando. Is it what? Um, what are you talking about, Doctor? A, a colony of populous tremoloids. American Aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest. Huh, that does sound bizarre. So maybe. Doctor, something has been recorded after all. But there are plenty of errors in the transmission header. It's hard to say whether this is a message from Gorski. Well, but sir, play it. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the doctor. Let's hope so. Gorski to base. Stop the recording. Oh, bugger. 
is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? So far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man, nor for any humanoids. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guessing. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. I think there might be something to it. By the way, you were right, Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in this discovery, in spite of everything. See the relay up close. Oh, looks broken. Uh, this is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. Uh, he may be right. The question is, who's behind all these disruptive activities? That I don't know, sir. There are more traces, this time handprints, and a drop detector. Did I hear you right? Yes, sir, you heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Yeah. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find it, Doctor.
No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet Gorski... I found something. Again. I'm listening. More of the same stuff. Gorski's things. More traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. Back in the camp, you reported Marit's abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. This scene looks disturbingly similar. Now, what is it? I took a shortcut. On purpose? Uh, not really. Finally, I have his position. A visual? Not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still nothing? Yeah. found his backpack. You know what that means, sir? Yes, he's without oxygen. We must hurry. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's lying in a sinkhole. Doctor, answer me, please. Gorski! Gorski! 
Look at me. His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. Activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? No, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, Yasna. If you faint, the doctor won't carry you. looks intact. What did you say? I didn't hear. Hold on, Gorski. I still can't hear you, Doctor. Please repeat. It's nothing, Astrogator. Some static on the line. in the open already? Sort of. Yes. Once you've set up the transmitter, I should start receiving...
Sukata. Hey, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing, but saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. of water probably unsafe for consumption I'd rather not risk it oh, shit meteoric waters no. too deep <sighs> slippery terrain poor visibility considering all factors situation hopeless at least I got flat oh, come on <sighs> gotta be kidding me Considered opinion? Fucked. Yes, no? Let's get this in again, yes. The force of will is no time for pleasant trees. We need to get out of here now. Hey, not so fast. I have some questions. Later, Gasler. Now, let's go left. It should be easier from there. Good one. I'm not going anywhere until you explain how you found me. Then I guess you will die, because I refuse to waste time on explanations. Your choice, yes, ma'am.
this dreadful silence. Silence is harmless. You shouldn't be afraid of it. Unlike other things. What should I be afraid of? Dehydration, hypoxia, methane poisoning. The list is quite long. Oh, what were you thinking, really? I warned you against opening your helmets, let alone giving all your oxygen to a dead man. A complete failure of reason in the act of futile heroism. Gorski isn't dead. That's why I left him my damn tank. Yeah, it might as well be. Do you really think giving him oxygen was enough? Something attacked you up there. Odds are, it got Gorski as well. We'll check and come back for him. Novik should be monitoring his parameters after all. Yeah, about that. You shouldn't trust everything the old man says. He only tells us what he sees. Huh? What do you mean? Doesn't matter now. Let's focus on getting out of this maze. Is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? I think so. Flares are wet, though. What equipment do you have on you? Procedure in minimum or more? The telemeter, tracer, a metal detector. Other than the latter, I, I, I'd say the bare minimum. Why they don't give us proper torches? Tell me about it. is for the dead. against time, Yasna. We're constantly fighting for life, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I don't want to fight anymore. I, I don't want to fight. All right, Yasna. Have it your way. What? A moment ago, you were forcing me to struggle on. But now you'll let me die. Just like that. <sighs> Not just like that. You did everything you could. But even that wasn't enough. You have the right to finally give up. my breath. Hmm. On second thought, I imagine there are worse places to die. It's rather peaceful, actually. Just close your eyes and let yourself go. Fall asleep. Okay. Oh, I'm getting up. Turns out I prefer to live than let you talk me to death. Talking turned out to be quite helpful, huh? Don't push it, Crowder. Uh, do you see this? Well, if 
you're talking about coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes, they're further up as well. Finally, we have proof. There was life on the land, after all, millions of years ago. Is it really such good news? Because now, not even bacteria or viruses. I'm starting to suspect that someone or something prevents organisms from moving ashore. Perhaps stop them from leaving the water. Yeah, if so, I think it stops them to this day. In other words, it's still here. And it nips all manifestations of life in the bud. Why then have I not met it yet? Oh, but I think you have. You know a lot, Crowter. About what happened to me, and about these fossils. The old man told me. About life on Regis? About you. He's clueless regarding Regis. He only cares about how he can gain an advantage in this sector of the galaxy. Even more skeletons. Annoyingly now, there are no comms. Nobody will know of this discovery if we get stuck here. Relax. The old man will send another expedition. And they will find those bones, along with ours. Thanks. For a moment there, I forgot how screwed I was. Good that you reminded me. Maybe your situation would be better if you didn't stop to admire the fossils. Now you sound like Novik. <laughs> Too shame. of us, you know, in your brain. That's not what I'm asking about. I know, but there's no definitive answer. We can only hope that you won't forget us when it's all over. So little, yet so much. I don't want to forget, Crowther. I, I really don't. Come. It's time to be among other people again. They are there, somewhere, I promise. I'm starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that caused my fall. It doesn't matter now. If you stay here, death is certain. <laughs> I should tell you, the 
was a number to serve for you. suspicion of what exactly we're dealing with. What are the f I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, then. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. I wonder what it's looking for. And why is it shooting at these structures? In my opinion, we're dealing with a defective model. If the Alliance had been searching the area, they wouldn't have sent a lone anti-man to do it. It's not a machine you let loose. And yet, it's as loose as it can be. I can see a passage, but it doesn't look very... inviting. that I didn't implement. Currently, it does not respond to commands. <clears throat> I'll check on it. I guess it's busted for good. to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? 
According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. The antimats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. Since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. I'm sorry, Yasna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've... I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. over a person, you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But you must run a little more space. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's not going specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That, that's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Oh, and how am I supposed to feel? I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So you know. Gorski's oxygen jump didn't come out of nowhere, and your saturation is dropping. So, how are you feeling? I've already experienced what Dr. Krauter referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. Even participated in them. How? I had a long and tiring conversation with him. Oh, damn it! The storm's getting worse. Please don't ask for details. Thank you. 
say so. Doctor, the storm. I know, I know. But it's important. Started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Are you driving? How are the conditions? I'm going. Please talk to me. Maybe that will calm me down. Oh shit! It hit the bonnet! Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out unscathed. In a vehicle, is, is kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body, discharge into the ground. Look, I know I asked you to talk to me, but I don't need a lecture in physics right now. Some peace and quiet would actually be better. Understood. I'll be quiet from now on.
finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, how far am I from the city's border? Uh, considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse. You don't know, do you? It's not that simple. There are too many unknown variables. Status? How are you doing, Yasna? I'm still alive. The signal's just weak. Unfortunately, yes. But it's hard to see. I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. Even better. 